look at Kalispell 15 days until a time for 200 Fairbridge Inn residents. And tonight, for the first time, you'll hear from their landlord. Fortify Holdings plans to turn the hotel into 200 plus studio apartments that will rent for close to a thousand a month. But Fortify is willing to hold off on eviction. The catch is, it's not up to them. NBC Montana's Dominic Vidiello is working for you and spoke with the hotel owner. Five days ago, Fairbridge Inn residents might get more time to get out. That's because the new owner asked Fairbridge to hold off on evictions for 90 days. After numerous calls and emails, we got an answer. The February 15th deadline is locked in. Whenever you, you draw out the closing of a property or even a sale of a property, there are challenges that come up and, and we're in the midst of these challenges. But in the end, they're hotel guests and this hotel is closing. Yeah. I know nobody wants to move, but uh, it's the price of progress in this circumstance. But some are pushing back. We asked and received 29 emails sent to the city. Each one asked for the council to consider their decision to approve the project and what turning out 200 people will mean to the flathead. I told owner Steve Rice about it. Do you feel at all responsible that you're contributing to the homelessness issue? These are hotel guests. There are empty hotel rooms right across the street. I, I don't see why anybody thinks that this is going to be a homeless issue. I spoke with Diane Medler, the executive director of Discover Kalispell, where I was told this time of year, lodging properties in Kalispell have roughly a 50% vacancy rate. I set out to follow up with the list of six hotels, Rice included with the eviction notice. Turns out the list isn't much help. Travel Lodge doesn't offer extended stay. Econo Lodge doesn't either. One isn't even built yet. Motel 6 is currently housing eight households from the Fairbridge, but is closing its extended stay options in April. The Hilltop Inn told me it's full and that 57 Fairbridge residents are on their waiting list behind 65 other people. The city of Kalispell's vacancy rate is less than half of 1%. But Rice told me it's the right time to sell, and Fortify's plans make it the right project for the land. You believe that these members will be able to find housing? I am absolutely confident that they can find housing. These are, you know, most homeless people can't afford housing. These people have been able to get modest hotel accommodations, and there are modest hotel accommodations waiting for customers. As the date to vacate their homes continues to grow ever closer, residents of the Fairbridge are still trying to find a new home during winter. A common problem many run into as Kalispell's vacancy rate continues to decrease. Reporting in Kalispell, Dominic Vidiello, NBC Montana.